Uh, what I wanted to get into today was the Fibonacci retracement tool. And so far we've covered uh, the drawing trend lines and um, horizontal uh, support and resistance levels. So that's going to help you figure out when to um, look to sell and also when to buy. So the Fibonacci retracement tool is going to help you out with that as well. So I wanted to kind of give you two ways to find support and resistance um, in two different videos with two different types of strategies. So uh, we're going to be using the Fibonacci retracement tool in this video. So if you guys are on TradingView, uh, the Fibonacci retracement tool is quite a common uh, tool to use in technical analysis. So um, just look around on whatever charting service you're using. I'm sure you can find it. But uh, for those of you on TradingView, you're just going to come over to the sidebar and the third one down, go, to go ahead and click that and come down here right to Fibonacci retracement. So now that you have it selected, I'm just going to move this out of the way. What you're going you're gonna to want to do is whenever you're uh, plotting a Fibonacci retracement uh, levels, you want to go from the top to the bottom. And what you're going to look for is a large run up and then a large sell off. So um, you just want to be looking for a large set off when uh, sell off when looking to plot the Fibonacci retracement. And you're just going to go from the tip top of the all time high in the um, area of time that you're looking at uh, you always want to be at a certain interval of time for me I'm looking at the one month chart because I'm looking for swing trades and day trades so if you were looking at uh, trades that you're going to be holding for three months or something like that you might want to go uh, throughout a year or six months um, if you want to the options are down here for larger time intervals but um, so once you plot it you're just going to uh, I like to drag it out a little more over to where we're actually already at. And now you can see we have a bunch of different lines in different colors, right? So um, let me see if I can hide these. I wish I could hide these. Um, yeah, so basically what you're looking at is the f fall off of um, where you were at. So you came up from here which you would be at a hundred percent and now you're at zero percent uh, all the way down here at this bottom price level and these different levels are basically saying okay you're at uh, 23 percent um you know almost back to where you were 38 percent 50 percent 61 percent and 78 percent now these levels are usually levels where you're going to see support and resistance uh, on your way back up to wherever the high was and it's where you can look to sell some coins and also possibly place some buys. So as you can see, you can also already start to notice that you know some support and resistance was found here. Uh, same with this area and also with this area as well as this area. So you can really start to see that uh, these lines really do matter and other traders do use these because they um, the people that are using them all look to sell at the same area of time and all look to buy at the same price level. So obviously we are starting to move up upwards already back to that top. So we've already passed a lot of the levels, but normally how you would use this is you want to be able to buy um, as low as possible on the retracement. So anywhere in this red level, anywhere in this yellow level or green level, um, for me, I would try to buy as low as possible, hopefully here, if I did get in on that trade. But if you don't, um, it's really up to you guys when uh, you want to place a trade or if you want to place a trade. So coming through here, we're going to say we bought down here. We would start to place uh, different sell levels um, at different lines, right? If we are using the Fibonacci retracement. Now, usually I recommend to sell a little bit at each line. Uh, because you don't want to just sell off all at say this line right here because there's a chance that it keeps going uh, higher and higher and in this case you can see that clearly it did so um, you definitely want to spread out over uh, a certain amount of time and a certain uh, price uh, variant you want to have different sell-offs at different prices so um, let's say I start to draw some lines here 
And if you guys want to draw horizontal lines, the uh, option is over on the second option on the side on trading view. So uh, let's say we want to sell some at the 23% line. Um, now, usually, like I said, a lot of other investors will be using this tool. So you're going to see that a lot of people will, will be placing uh, sell orders for, say, in this case, it would be $145.20. So I always recommend to try to be a little less greedy than all of the other investors using this tool and try to just sell a little bit below um, every single line. That's going to help you place a lot more of your cells and also be able to get in and out of trades very quickly. Um, for me, I wouldn't look to place a sell at 23%. I would look to do 38%, 50%, and the 61% levels. Okay, um, Those are the levels I like to place sells at just because that's usually the level that you're going to see the most um, price action in before uh, the coin starts to move higher and higher. So uh, for here, I would say pr uh, place a sell right about there. And for here, let's go right there. And I'm just going to plot the rest of these. All right, right there. So when using the Fibonacci retracement tool, I would always recommend, like I said, to place at least three sell up, uh, sell offs for whatever amount of coins that you bought. So let's say you bought 100 coins, I would say 25%, uh, so 25 coins at the 38% level, uh, 50 coins uh, or 50% at the 50% level, and 25% at the 61% level. Those are usually the levels I am comfortable selling at uh, when doing this strategy, just because I don't like to be too greedy and hope that it goes to the 78% level because a lot of the times, you're going to see a pretty large pullback um, and you know the coin is it's possible that it may keep dropping whatever asset that you are trading so just be aware of that and make sure you guys are using other indicators and other techniques and strategies when looking to sell at a certain price level but this tool is just a really easy and simple tool to understand and also understand how to uh, place these sell levels and look for different support and resistance levels in order so you guys can get better entries and also better exits so um, you know that's basically all you need to know about the Fibonacci retracement levels there's a lot of different ways to use it I've seen a ton of different strategies all over YouTube as well as other places other people I've talked to but this is the best way that I like to use it I really just like to um, be able to know uh, when it's most likely to, li likely to see other support and resistance levels on the way back up or even um, you know if it uh, teeters around here and then keeps going down I like to know when I'm going to see those support and resistance levels and also combining it with other techniques um, like the video uh, the first video we talked about drawing support and resistance levels without any tools uh, it's very nice to combine that strategy with the Fibonacci retracement because for the levels that do line up with both uh, techniques it's really good to <clears throat> really take a closer look at those levels and possibly look to sell or buy at those levels because when you have multiple indicators uh, showing you that um, yes this is a support yes this is a resistance yes this is a good entry uh, you always want to think twice about that because when multiple indicators are showing you that you know that's a good spot to enter a trade chances are um, it's a pretty good spot to enter when there's multiple signs going off saying you know enter a trade right now so um, this is just a quick video showing you guys how to use the Fibonacci retracement there's not a ton uh, more that you need to know about it I mean it's a pretty simple tool later on when we start to get into more uh, advanced technical analysis indicators we will talk more and more about those indicators but honestly so um, support and resistance is a pretty simple concept and the Fibonacci retracement tool is just something that allows you to do it a little bit better so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to leave a like on this video and also comment on any suggestions or feedback that you have Thank you.